estranged angels, a wing and a prayer. Most of the paintings in this collection have a very personal type of a resolution, some conflict being resolved through the painting. Sometimes it's just a happy, some emotion. It could be happy, sad, whatever it is. Doing the art is almost like a therapy that helps you to resolve it. This painting shows a being with only one foot on the ground. There's a serpent that's kind of getting all around. And as the, uh, the serpent often is, temptation, um, you know, from the biblical days, the fall of man, it's often elusive. In this part of the painting, you cannot see the patterns. It's coming all around and it's elusive. This being here is pushing that one away. That's why it's called estranged angels. The pushing away is usually of the people closest to us. Here you see there's a connection between the ribs, also sort of a biblical theme, this being created out of each other. And yet the one that's being pushed away, it is the angel or the angelic being of that person who's actually cutting off the neck and the head of the snake and allowing for the peace and tranquility to continue. A strange angels, a wing and a prayer. Misty Blue. Misty blue was created out of the blue. What was going to appear in this painting was not predictable or known until the very end. True to the concept of doing a veil painting, the painting is always turned and we don't know what it's going to be. The part which identifies the animal being or whatever it is in any of the paintings, that which identifies it shouldn't be more than approximately 10% of the painting. When this, being, when this painting came to the need for identification of the eyes, I had seen this animal shape in there. It was quite a challenge because that was something I was not actually familiar with. It's very different than this type of a flowing veil. And yet it was calling to me to be this animal. It was something deep down inside. I had to have a lot of courage to kind of break the form and create those eyes. I knew I would either like it or have to put it in the trash bin, but I do like it, so I was happy. <laughs> in this painting also, you can see this conch shell, which has uh, significance of the sounds that calling forth creation. You also have the, you could call it a ram's horn, though it's not technically a ram, but it is the horn, the shofar in other religions which, you know, call forth creation. Misty Blue. Princes of Peace. This painting is of the idea of the various images of peace that we have, starting from even as a child, we're told that if we kiss the frog, it will turn into a prince in our fairy tales. This is the little rose baby, also kind of a fairy tale painting the bed of roses. Here we have John Lennon who also sang songs about peace. Imagine all of his songs and a being, a leader, a Moshiach that we are always imagining this leader who will lead us to redemption. 
in the middle we have these seeds and these seeds are seeds of peace that come into us that we think about from childhood all the way on. Missing You. This painting was created for a friend who passed this year. And I miss him. We always talked about going to art galleries and looking at shows together. And I wanted to make a painting that just expressed that feeling of missing. She's kneeling on a hillside with fresh plants all around her. Above her you have different layers of color as though the seven seven worlds seven worlds of wonder the seven heavens all around in a sense of mourning for a lost friend the interesting thing like a lot of these veils is that after it was created things start appearing in the painting that sometimes i haven't consciously created over on the side, you'll see a being in blue. You see a nose and an eye and a mouth, as though someone is watching from the other side. I feel my friend sort of brought his presence into the painting while I was making it. And he is still with us from the other side. This one's for you. The Angel of the Valley. This was created in response to an evening of poetry, music, and art. One night on the beach in Waimanalo, in an oceanfront home, a friend read his poem about the Angel of the Valley just before he was leaving Hawaii. And in response to that poem, the next day, this painting was conceived. There's a couple of fish jumping into the stream on the bottom, the water running through the valley, and the angel kind of holding this whole valley scene together. Up in the wings, we have a couple of jumping dolphins, and the mountains and the stream. It's been a favorite of this show.